just covered half the bed. Yeah, he just had only the left-hand side of that bed to look at. Very, very experienced. Bad last road, been on the big scene 20 years. This guy knows the best option. Won't lose his nerve. He's looking at... Well, he's done exactly what his opponent did. Blocked it. Oh, beautifully taken, what is? Yeah, that's a good second dart. Sometimes you could see him thinking, shall I go six, double 16, but he's gone straight for it. A good camera angle there. From our angle, it looked as if it covered the bed, but from Gary Mawson's angle, plenty of room, and he plants it straight in the middle. So, uh, just to remind you of that time when he kissed Phil Taylor's feet, Phil average 113 and an 8 nil win it, which was the world record at the time. Of course, it's 116 now, set by Taylor. The big boys coming into the action, Amara. To take it from me, even the Taylors, even the James Weirds and the Barneys, scared of lads like this, Rod. Yeah, they certainly are, and they're even more scared of that draw, Sid. There's a few people who'll be panicking until they get an easy draw. And then, of course, when you get an easy draw, or an easier draw, to be fair to all the players, and then you want all the big guns to draw each other. Get them out of the way. The FA cover darts. Give me a room on the corner, Rod. Takes me 15 minutes to pull the curtain. Start at the halfway line. Finish behind the goal. Because you've got to keep cool after five hours of this. Down here in the commentary box. It's a slack dart. Adjust to the 60. Beautifully. Should have used the light better with dart three. Yeah, Weaver's got to start getting some straight turns. So that's a good dart. He should deflect this one in. Well, most players wouldn't miss this. Just say, see, he's just snatching that third dart a little bit, Sid. And I think that's because of the heat on there. He's got sweat on his grip, and there's a little bit of aquaplaning going on with his dart. You heard it from our Harry and Expert there. Aquaplaning. The microphone's aquaplaning in our hands with the heat. Qualified. Now in Doncaster. Home of the famous Balby Bridge Workingman's Club, where so many great ladies players have come over the years. And I loved that lad earlier, whose wife cut his hair. Ooh -hoo. Lovely dart, landed on the bar. Bad shot, should have been, should have done better. Well, advantage to Weaver in this leg. He gets a leg under his belt, it may just settle him down a bit. That's another good first start. I mean, how unlucky is that? That could let Molson in. Yeah, we've had got his swap mixed up with his weft there. Chances on now. Need it the 60 to start the combo rod. Yeah, but he just needs to set it up. He hasn't got a he needs to treble now. And he hasn't done it. So now Weaver perhaps will think he may have six darts from here. Because Molson may only get one dart at double top, and that's another very good front dart that first Lovely. one. Double 16 coming in. Oh, outside of the wire! Well, big shot here for Molson. May only get one dart. He will only get one dart at double top. Double 10, he's hit the double top with the second dart. Just had to reconcentrate quickly there. He's pegged back to one. The Yorkshire lad, middle of the bed, give on! Well, that's going to give him, him some confidence, Sid. Now, Gary Molson may be thinking, I've got to get hold of this. Got to win this leg, most important. And last year, did not get a hold of Barney in the semi-final, beat him 10 hits. So he ended up in the final, giving James Wade the eventual winner, a run for his money. Too high, nice lie. Beautiful barrel nestle needed now. Well, he's certainly getting a little bit more consistent as this game goes on. And if Gary Mawson, you know, he, what he needs to do is fire in a 12, 13, 14 dart leg just to put the, the boy on his back foot. And he's not doing that. He's really That's let Darren Weaver in on this leg. Couldn't get the pole position. 4 2 2 Weaver. Just in. Super duper. Him now has lost the throw in this leg, so if Weaver can get it back, then that's a great first start for Mawson. Needs to put another one in the red bit. After that first start, he's got to make more of it. Oh, bag of nails. 
on the rag and boon man's cart. This visit. 13. No way, he had a cover either. Beautiful lateral development. Refocuses the laser. Beautiful. He's got it in the barn door. Oh, lucky. Well, that's a sign of a good play. Your opponent hits a bag of nails, as you say, Sid, and you jump right in with a 140. Get the throw back. Get command in the leg. This is a really important leg for Mawson. If he wins it, he's too clear. If he loses it, they're all level. 60 starts the combo any way he chooses. That's good enough. Trouble 19. 15's for Tops. What a great shot from Molson. A 140, then a 145 shot out. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. And you can see the relief in Molson's face. And on that note, let's look around the rest of our action. 3 1 confirming Mawson Weaver. Blundell against Joplin, 1 zip. Curry wants up against Dolan. No score in that match, right? Yeah, Mayer against Parker, all square. Caves is 3 0 up. And Hardy, what a good win that is for Stephen Hardy. And Joe Cullen, 3 1 down to Justin Pike. It must be the slow playing of Justin Pike because Joey Cullen's a great player. Agreed we are there from Brad Fant. Talks a good game, plays a good game. Yeah, certainly Molson back, he's 3-1 up. He needs to now win this to go in the break. Really clear. Yeah, what a standard. Cullen, as I say, was expected to be a real big star here. Mawson knows. Cool and compounds to say he's been in some rugs in the 20 years we've known him. Yeah, he's been about a long time, Sid. As I say, about 20 years I've known him, and he's been a good player, a good solid player, and puts him in some exceptional performances at times, like he did last year. And he's got uh, more passports than some people have had thought Todd Dennis. He was British for a bit, and he became a Canadian, and I think he's now a naturalised American. 60. Well, he's certainly been about, that's for sure. He must have plenty of air miles on his air tickets. But now he'll be looking just to stay straight, as I say. Get this Six game out of the way. It's always the the first game is always the hardest. You don't know what your rhythm is going to be on the big stage. But I think it's an advantage, Sid, that he's on this big stage against this young man. Well, that's a good point, yeah. Because uh, it is a unique auditorium, this. People in the middle watching the main stage, and to some extent, number two, where the better, bigger known players are on. But it's like a pub match on the other six boards, isn't it? We are mates wow. around yet. Yeah? yeah, it certainly is. But that probably suits all the qualifiers and, and the uh, players that have only just qualified, you know, through the rankings. They will prefer that. It's a good bit of noise which happens in their tour wow. events, so they'll be happy. Final time in the game then to get big blue water between them and the opponent. Two double topses. Oh, lovely lie to put this one in his eye! Oh, what a shot! Oh.